I first went to Leros in 1987, the conditions in the so-called state hospital of Leros uh, were appalling. People being kept naked, chained to beds, being fed by guards in Wellington boots with long spoons. Um, the barrack rooms in which they were kept were those of an old Italian prisoner of war camp. Uh, no running water, just appalling. Uh, it's more like death, maybe. It's, um, it's about no choice. It's about uh, no prospect for the future. It's about not having any decision-making power about basic personal things like what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, what time you're going to get up, who you'd like to live with and who you wouldn't like to live with. This is against the human rights. You may not be uh, closed up in institutions uh, out of your illness or your disability, which is the case for people with mental health. So it's a, a real fundamental right uh, to live in the community. It's very helpful to have the data because we need to have the evidence about what's going on and what's not going on. Without any evidence, it's, it's hard to make uh, uh, credible arguments. It's really a change on so many levels, not only uh, the, the governments realize that it is not the good answers, uh, the persons themselves asked to go back home uh, and the government said we have to do something about it. Closing an institution can be a very long project because you have to find you, know, you can only do it, it's like eating an elephant, you can only do it bit by bit. Uh, the important thing is to start somewhere, to start working at alternatives for those you can work alter find alternatives for. You wouldn't have believed that the people who appeared to need to be fed while wearing no clothes in St George's, the Pavilion of the Naked it was called, um, could be sitting fully clothed in taverners, drinking coffee and talking about their experiences only three or four years later. It is just not true that people cannot survive these things, it's just that they shouldn't have to. Always with the psychosis I ended up like I think five times in the, in the clinic and it's, I, there's simply no place to, to calm down because you're there, I, the whole concept doesn't doesn't work 
it's um, it, I, for me it it, uh, it created the psychosis and and the feeling of of being more locked in. After 20 years of searching help uh, in clinics, uh, psychiatrists, uh, I ended up here and um, it was uh, the first time for me that uh, actually it worked because there was no uh, regime or uh, strict, uh, uh, in the clinics you have, you have a, a strict thing you have to follow which takes away your uh, identity and um, yeah they, they, they even don't tell you where where they want what's the plan <laughs> so that was nice uh, when I uh, ended up here the first thing was like yes but who are you what 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 are you good in we, because we want to work with who you are and it's not just following the program um, I, the program is you. <laughs> it's always a different story uh, for every human being, but uh, at the end, every human being has the same basic needs, and that's warmth and care.